this is a field that is not so popular but that does not mean that there are no universities that are ready to give you as an international student funding for you to come for your master's or phd degree in the united states Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Molilulua Ogleye. You're welcome. If today is your first time of coming across my video, I say a big welcome to you. And if you're a returning subscriber, I say thank you so much for coming back again. So as a continuation of our series, Funding Your Education in the United States, today I'm going to be giving you the list of universities in the United States that have funding opportunities for international students that are interested in agricultural economics. This is a field that is not so popular, but that does not mean that there are no universities that are ready to give you as an international student funding for you to come for your master's or PhD degree in the United States. In today's video, I'm going to provide you with a list of universities that have automatic scholarship consideration for international students that want to pursue a graduate degree in agricultural economics, either a master's or PhD. But before we go any further in today's video, have you subscribed to this channel? If you've not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now, click on the subscribe button. Do not forget to like this video and turn on the notification bell so that when more videos come on this platform, you'll be notified. So what is agricultural economics? Agricultural economics focuses on the relationship between agriculture, economic policy, and commerce. Agricultural economics discusses issues like how demand and supply affect agricultural prices, how different market structure affect agricult the agricultural sector. It also includes sustainable agricultural practices, how government policy affects the agricultural sector, Sector, how the condition of rural area affects the production of agricultural produce and other financial aspects of agricultural business. Who are those that can undertake a master's program in agricultural economics? Number one, people that are interested in agricultural practices. Number two, those that have background in economics and are interested in agricultural practices. Number three, those that are interested in environmental, environmental sustainability. Those that are interested in agribusiness. So now let's go to the list of universities in the United States that have juicy funding opportunities opportunities for international students that are interested in agricultural economics. The first university on this list is Texas A&M University and their acceptance rate is 63% which is very high and they offer a program in agricultural economics. They have offer both a master's and PhD program and it is important for us to note that agricultural economics in the United States is considered a STEM related program and so this is a school that you can check out if you are interested in it and it is clearly written here that the STEM and PhD program in agricultural economics is now classified as science, technology, engineering and math STEM related so it's going to help your, your longer stay in the United States so they have scholarship and funding opportunity you have to submit a financial aid application and a scholarship application. The second university to check out is Colorado State University and the acceptance rate is 90.8%, which is very high. They also offer assistantship and funding opportunity. The department offer competitive teaching and research assistant opportunity for both master's and PhD students. These assistantship provide waiver of tuition and in addition to monthly stipend. And so all applicants interested in receiving an assistantship will be considered that doing the admission process. The next university is University of Wisconsin Madison and their acceptance rate is 49.1%, which is okay. They also offer agricultural and applied economics program and they have funding. To be considered for funding, applicant application must be received by December 15. Outstanding applicants to the graduate program will be considered for full funding in form of stipend, tuition remission, health insurance, associated with teaching and research assistantship or fellowship. No special application is required. And so you can check out the school. Selected admitted applicants will receive funding offers starting in March. So it is important for you to apply on time. They, as I said earlier, they have research assistant position and they have teaching assistant position. They also have fellowship and they also have other funding opportunity that is available to students to apply. So please check out this university if you're interested in agricultural economics. The next university is Ohio State University and the acceptance rate is 52.7% and it's okay, you can check out the school. I actually like Ohio State, it's a very nice state for international students and they also have a department of agricultural, environmental and development economics and so they have funding for 
their students like over 95 percent of students enrolled in this doctoral program receive tuition and stipend support on a competition base to cover four or more years of their program so from their website is they have both masters and phd program and so the applicant admitted to their program are automatically considered for scholarship so if you're looking for funding fellowship assistantship you can check out this university graduate associate and fellow receive full tuition support and supplement to cover instru instructional fees graduate associates are given monthly stipend depending on the, their program so you can really check out the school Ohio state is very good for international students so now let's talk about the application process you need a certain 3.3 undergraduate gpa gre tofu and they have certain state country that are exempted like nigeria ghana new zealand northern ireland singapore scotland united states british caribbean so many invest countries are actually exempted from writing tofu so you can check out the school their acceptance rate uh, time timeline for the autumn 2024 is this so you can use this time frame for also the subsequent years and the next university is kansas state university and the acceptance rate is 95.1 percent which is very very high they have a program in agricultural economics and they have masters they have phd program they have masters of business agriculture and so for you to apply you they accept application for fall that's by august and so to be fully considered for funding applicants must submit the application by january 8th for fall admission and august 1st for spring admission the application materials are like two page of statement of objects your resume the contact of your reference or letter or recommenders your gre transcript and for international students they have cut them on TOEFL waiver for those that have schooled in the United States for at least two years. And so you can check out the school if you're looking for a school that have funding to offer to you for a master's in agricultural economics. They also have a special program for those that are interested in agricultural risk management in partnership with Center for Risk Management Education. And it also comes with fellowship, which cover your tuition. So you can check out the school. The next university is Michigan State University and the acceptance rate is 88%, which is also very high. And they also have a program for agricultural economics. There are several ways that graduate system, students can receive financial support. The department offer research assistant teaching assistance position and these assistants are expected to work 20 hours. There is also a summer job available for students that are into agricultural business or agricultural economics in the United States. So please check out the school. The next university is the University of Illinois and the acceptance rate is for 4.8%. They have a program called Agriculture and Consumer Economics. So if you're interested, you can check out the school. They have a graduate fellowship and graduate assistantship position. And to be eligible for financial aid, which include a tuition waiver, applicants must indicate on the admission application that they wish to be considered for financial aid and they also must be admitted and enrolled in a graduate program with a full-time student status and so that ap ap recipients are selected based on their academic performance and other requirements so please check out the school if you're interested it's a very good school the next university is university of nebraska lincoln and the acceptance rate is 78.6 percent they have a program in agricultural economics and it's a very good school they are they accept students from a variety of major as long as the prerequisites have been satisfied. And these are some of the prerequisites that are needed. They do not have a GPA requirement. However, master's program built on the skill length is important. So this they, they require also a statement of purpose, one to three page statement of purpose, which should explain why you want to pursue a graduate degree and describe your interest. You also need the letter of recommendation like three and these are some of the classes that you're going to be taking they have assistantship position which includes tuition waiver monthly stipend and also cover a portion of your student health insurance so please check out the school there is no separate application for assistantship and applicants do not need to contact a faculty member to be considered 
The next university is Washington State University, and the acceptance rate is 83.1%, which is very, very high. They have funding opportunity for students that are interested in agricultural economics, either as a great assistantship and whatnot. So you can also check out this university. This is the contact of the graduate school. You can reach out to them via mail or via call if you are capable of calling. And so this is a general application. They have intake for spring 2025 and fall 2025. And that spring 2026 will soon be open. They have an application fee of $90. And the priority application deadline is January 10. And class begin August 19, 2020 of that year that i have been admitted and for the spring semester the deadline was july 1st so but that's for previous so you can also use that time frame for the previous coming year and they have different kind of graduate student scholarship and there's opportunity for graduate assistantship so please all check out the school if you're interested thank you I hope you find this video very helpful. For me to you, I wish you all the best in your endeavor as you start your process of applying to grad school in the United States as an international student. Till we meet again in our next video, remember that this year, take those baby steps because great vision, great wealth, and greatness lie on the premise of small baby steps. Thank you so much and bye-bye. Mm -hmm.